Hello everyone, in this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough, then also you can search for yourself, but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always, keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. Mika and Echo is seen a lot of places like a lol cow, like someone who just really should be taking a break. I've been mentioning this for a long time. She should actually take a break because it seems to really be affecting her mental health. Here we go. She finally announced that she's gonna take a small break. And here's a little bit of what's going on here. I'm going to be going through what's been going on and what this person's mentioning here without going through all the words that they're saying. I'll show you that I'll show you what's being said instead of showing you the words. Uh, we have here where um, Japanese VTubers credit card was stolen. Current pseudo super chat deposit amount. Um, basically, they're talking about Mika Neko. Mentioned how she mentioned how her Apple card was stolen or at least attempted to be stolen. And some things were charged on and uh mentioning over here that there is a right here says hundreds of thousands of yen were withdrawn from my apple card this is the first time my credit card has been fraudulently used can't catch a break of course you know unfortunately she can't catch a break even when she's not going like wild online and not you know uh attacking or you know defending herself or anything like that just her trying to exist in the world means that she will be attacked in one way shape or form and then she goes here someone is saying how about sending super chats from your smartphone Speaking of 3,200, 8,000 8, bills, which is like about 30, 30, like 20 to 60 bucks. I think 20 to 60 bucks with the current rate right here. 3,200 Japanese yen. And then over here, 8,000 Japanese yen from the same card. And now, you know, she's like, oh my goodness. Now there's there's a, a, a super chat theory popping up. And over here, you have Japanese VTuber announcing temporary hiatus due to physical and mental fatigue. Slander on receiving network. Mika Neko has uh, suddenly announced the period of rest, which is caused by various slander, critical influences on the network, which has a physical and mental fatigue. So she has announced here that she will be taking a bit of a break, as mentioned here at 4 p.m. October 21st. I have announcement for years. I have been subjected to groundless slander and abuse, and I've been criticized for being misunderstood. I've been fighting and running in various ways, but it seems that it was more of a burden than I thought. I'm exhausted both physically and mentally, and my thinking ability has declined recently. So I'll take a little break. I'm going to rest my mind and body, so please wait for me. Of course, people are going to wait, because she does have a very dedicated fan base. I'll be honest with you with that one. She has a very dedicated fan base. She needs that break. She absolutely needs that break. When you're fighting, 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 and being aggressive, 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 and going for all that stuff, it gets to a point where you can't handle it anymore. It gets to that point where you can't handle it, and it becomes problematic. So that is one thing that, of course, I understand. And, of course, she's saying the super set theory over here. She doesn't really believe in it, like I mentioned before. Over here, someone said something. Can't see it because they've uh, protected their account. And it says, no way. And, of course, the announcement that I mentioned. And she goes on this morning to rant a little bit. She said, this time I'm going to sue the Yahoo comments or maybe go against the Yahoo comments. Sometimes the the, the translations can be a little off on this one. Uh, seriously, please stop telling me you can't pay because you're sick. Well, money isn't really important to me. So I want to be punished. If I don't withdraw the charges, the other party will have a criminal record. But I don't intend to withdraw anymore because I've given them way too many warnings. Um, my guess is just she feels, for whatever reason, she feels that um, the things that are being said on Yahoo and other places are severe enough and enough of a drain on her stuff that she is going to be you know, doing something against them. I'm also having a lawyer look at the quote retweets I've been taking a break from. I'll be taking action against any slander I see. In Japan, of course, because in the US, eh, if it's your opinion and you aren't just directly saying this person is this, this person is that, it's less slander. Uh, she also clears up that she has no criminal record. She says she prohibited the unauthorized reproduction of Yahoo comments articles. Please do not use the photos without permission. I do this too. And finally, by the way, the content of the article is wrong. The article says that there has been almost no slander recently. There was tired of the slander I had received so far and was taking a break. But the slander after the trial has not stopped. That's completely wrong from my perspective. The meaning is so different that I wonder how he could write such an article. Sometimes people uh, do get things wrong. I've gotten things wrong in the past. I try to correct it when it happens, when I've been called out on it, when uh, comments mention it. Of course, I'm not perfect. I'm just one, one little squirrel going in this crazy wild world trying to give you news like this. So, of course, if I get something mistaken here, let me know. Yuki Wilson has decided to do something like a live play. I guess it might be a play on uh, on their stream, like a live streaming play thing. 
which is interesting. But uh, it says Terasanji Echoes of the Dark Realm. Yuki Wilson presents his original fantasy script, an exciting live performance featuring 17 amazing livers. Hit the bell to get notified. Starts on October 25th, Friday at 1900, which is 7 p.m. PDT. And here you have Vox. You have various, various others. You have Alira. You know, you have a, a lot of actually there's a lot of people in here 17 different ones and uh, as people are saying the fact that every single interesting project uh event or project this year has been personal ones seemingly little company input or control speaks volume yeah kind of like they're being left to their own devices after every single announcement someone's showing out their own personal project i just take a look back at all the times selen and pomo were told no and that is the problem there does seem to be a little bit of preferential treatment and that is more on the management than it is on the livers of course i am not criticizing the livers in this case like yuki wilson or anything like that for getting the ability to do these projects i'm criticizing the agency for picking and choosing and just blanket no's for some people like selen and pomu and blanket yeses for others of course they're going to green light stuff like this now almost everyone's lost interest in the company and not you know every time prior to the selen shock they need all the attention they can get despite them having perfect opportunities beforehand that is the one thing i wanted to put here but also also taking a look at all sides as you know i like to do being fair and honest and not just Niji hating for the sake of Niji hating. Niji Sanji deserves the hate that it gets. The agency itself, the management, the upper management itself, the livers, some do, some don't, you know, some get hate, some don't, some kind of, you know, have brought it upon themselves. Some haven't to kind of shed a bit more light on a couple of details regarding Tara Sanji. This was Yuki Wilson's idea. There's one thing I think he put on the uh, either in a post of his or you know somewhere the draft that Wilkins was himself made showing he wanted the poster to look like much people wanted to call us one of the many counts of favoritism management had towards us uh towards vox this doesn't really fit the bill at least from what wilson is showing here it pretty much if you look at that compared to this you see pretty much a lot of similarities of what he wanted you know that kind of looks very familiar you have a lot of people here all the people mentioned vance crow alira uki petra roma maria aya vox doppio twisty clara Millie, Finana, Ver, Vazalis, and Victoria Brightshield. All those people. So there seems to be a lot of people thinking Vivi is not is not in there. She's in the credits as a member of the cast, and as I, a couple of others have mentioned, is depicted by the bear in the poster. She also had said, according to Wilson, she didn't have want to have too big of a part, as small as being just a rock in the play. So she herself told them she doesn't want a big part. She doesn't want a big part in it. Probably because, you know, the imposter syndrome, that type of thing does hit pretty hard. I can't really speak for Victoria, but that's what I'm thinking. Take this info as you will, but I ain't here to make Voxer and Niji look better or change how you want to feel about them. Just not a big fan of speculation when the facts are so easy to find. It's understandable going through, though given most people have stopped following along with the livers and Niji do, I try to look at all aspects as you have seen because, uh, you know, I get hate for it. But in some cases, I put out just regular positive news on specific livers doing specific things. I mean, I hate Vox as much as the next guy, but this is just classic poster comp composition 101. Having the villain behind the main characters is how a lot of movie play posters are composed. Thank you for sharing this. I made a mistake of posting initially without checking or adding additional info. Does seem like a project the company helped Wilson out with. I don't think that it should be ignored, even if the company is still generally bad. It seems like a project with a lot of passion, and that's the thing. You can watch it. You can watch um, clips of it, which is probably what I'm going to be doing because uh, I don't want to directly support the company. You know what I mean? But um, it's good to have this. It's good to have a balancing force. Some people will show this to you. Some people will just show this initial part and be like, look, look, favoritism, favoritism. But I want to be equal and even. In this case, I don't want to dog on anybody. And if there's favoritism, I call it up. You guys know me. I call it as it is. But if it's like this, where this, the composition, you can kind of see it there. The full composition down here, you can see it. It's it's there. You know, the composition was decided beforehand and it was something that he wanted. That's the way he wanted it to be done. So, you know, just being even. We have it. Big news for Suisei and for Hololive. Japanese government space agency JAXA commissioned Hoshimachi Suisei to work on a project. According to the press reports, Hololive's Hoshimachi Suisei has won the prestigious honor of being a JAXA project the space agency of of the japanese government sagimahara city sagi sagimahara city yeah mihara city uh where jaxa campus is located asked hololive to collaborate with them and the collaboration was realized it is projected after jaxa's mercury Ma Mag magnetosphere orbiter mio which is aims at suisei which means mercury in japanese so yeah it all goes together suisei is literally living up being our shooting star by being part of the japanese space program conquering the world via vtubers is no longer enough Yago is setting his sights to the galaxy. I wonder how Bandai fumbled the bid, considering they have the witch for Mercury. Anyways, still happy for Suisei to get this collab. Sakura Miko in April 29, possibly April 2029. 
My guess, Witch for Mercury, has been done for about a year now, so it's no longer fresh in the public's mind, compared to the mainstream explosion that BBD ba, uh, has brought for Suisei. Just a translator note, Suisei is usually rendered her name in Hiragana, but given her intro, it will be written as that, meaning Comet, Sweeping Star. Mercury is also rated Suisei, but written as that Water Star. So, okay. Another star... Story of a Kuro Sanji rejected getting fame and success for dodging a bullet. Yes, she did apply for Kur Nidhi Sanji. She applied for Nidhi Sanji. She applied for other agencies and she didn't get it. And that is what that person is mentioning. And of course, if I can get this translated, I will try to get this translated for you guys. And here we are. A collaboration between Suisei Hochimachi, Sagi, Sagi Mihara City, and Saga Mihara City, and Jaxa Sagi Mihara. I'm just going to say that wrong the whole freaking time. I said it wrong like 20 times. I'm, I'm giving up. <laughs> October 21st, Saga Mihara City, Kanagawa Prefecture, announced that it has decided to collaborate with Suisei Hochimachi, a, sweet, a member of Japanese group Hollow Live. Apollo Life Productions, a VTuber agency operated by Cover Corporation, the city, Saga, Mi Saga Mihara, campus of JAXA, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, and details of the project have been made public. Collaborations made possible inquiry from, from the city. They also approached Professor Takashi Murakami, who was involved in development and operation of the Mercury Mag Magnetospheric Orbiter, MIO, assembled by JAXA Saga Mihara, Saga Mihara uh, campus. Also participating, the two shared a desire to make the planets and orbiters more familiar to many people, which led to the collaboration. So it's part of just, you know, bringing other people's eyes, the normies, the VTuber fans, etc., bringing their eyes to this. Mercury, the Mio thing, aims to be Suisei, Sag Saga Mihara, City Mayor, Kentaro Motomura, and Deputy Mayor Okawa uh, will be trying out the dance. Oh, God, no, please don't. The BB Deva, a short video will be released. Don't, don't do that. When politicians do that, holy crap, it ends up being horrible. But it's just going to be a funny thing to see, I guess. Uh, video introducing Suisei Hochimachi Saga, Saga Mihara City and a connection of the Pro Mio will be streamed on Suisei Hochimachi's official YouTube channel on November 1st. The video will provide fun content uh, that will, you know, make people familiar with it. This is all the stuff here. The Project 3 is a gift campaign. They're going to be doing gifts on uh, other things. They're going to just be giving gifts out of, you know, things here. The PR Times are showing here. They're going to be having posts marked with that. We'll have a chance to win a hand-signed autograph by Hoshimachi Suisei and other prizes. There are also rare goods provided by JAXA and Sagamine Goods. We look forward to your participation. So, yeah, that's their... That's their um, they're gifting things here. And of course, here is the actual uh, X post in regards to the JAXA things here. And uh, of course, the special reports, YouTube collaboration broadcasts, also campaign where you can win. So switch Suisse, Hochimachi, uh, autograph by posting stuff out there. So they're doing a lot. They're trying to bring VTubers into the limelight, of course, and use VTubers limelight that's already there and exists very strongly in Japan to bring the lights uh the, the projects that they have for aeronautics space maybe a kid somewhere can be like wow this looks pretty cool and then maybe get interested in being an astronaut or something like that she acknowledged it hollow stars en member gavis Bettle. it seems his long lost sister is an idol en's wildfire group will they collab we shall see she acknowledged it he is her long lost brother tweet sources here of course ricky puppet is idol en's new wildfire the uh, puppeteer for wildfire um and of course, ain't no way, big brother. I thought I lost you. Welcome home. And of course, Gavis Battle being, I believe, it's the same type of of lore, um, or different type of lore actually, but still same look, same style, same design. It is um, like not same design. You know what I mean? Same styling cues, that type of thing. The circus is coming along nicely. Guess it's time for me to bring the circus to town. Uh, that's a W right there. It looks like the circus getting back together. W, congratulations. Hell yeah. Uh, we need this to be a collab. Haven't realized until now, but you do look like twins. This circus will be legendary. It will be legendary. Uh, oh my goto, oh my goto, maybe. Uh, like Kaiba and Mukoba, Mokuba. Legit thought about that man when I saw your debut. And it's just because you know, uh, Puppet has the styling cues, has the look, like you can see right there. So it is just, it's, it's a joke, of course. It's they're not actually related, as far as I know by blood or even by um by model mama. They're not even not even by model mama because they're uh. Their rigger is Brielle Cookie Box, who is another VTuber. She does rigging for several people. She's done a lot of rigging for several people. So Brielle Cookie Box was able to do the lovely rigging there. And uh, yeah, it's just basically better loves to collab with other people, hollow or otherwise. We've seen Rin collab as well. So um, I'm sure it'll happen eventually. 
Rick Lavin with the boys is putting it lightly, considering how she she and Flayon were the first and only, as far as I know, VTubers to collab on Tumblr Live. Tumblr Live? I didn't know Tumblr had a Tumblr Live. What is them being similar is a reference to? It's, um, they don't have the same artist, but it's just the, the similar look. Similar look, similar energy, that type of stuff. Just basically being long last brother from another mother type of thing. He's a puppet master. It'll be fun to see the collab with Octavio. Man, clown man, finally, family tree is insane. He's part of the Penrose family, half brother. Tubert is his twin. Kuro Pirate is now his official brother, and now we have a sister here. So yeah, it's just it's a bit of, of just fun, razzing, that type of thing going around. Um, so it's still great to see that they are, you know, at least talking, at, at least will be talking. Uh, she added him. I'm pretty sure he's gonna respond at some point. Hasn't responded yet as of this recording. This I'm covering because it is amazing news for Bond Life EN's YouTube division, the people who were you know, basically tossed aside in, and you know, not such a horrible way, but still the fact that the company is like, ah, we're stopping. And then we're doing idiom. Now we're doing that weird app at uh, the idiom. I made the mistake before idiom has been there since before Nexus. The reason why I mentioned Nexus and compared to Nexus, because Nexus is the, the first thing that came to mind. And it's the most recent thing that came to mind. So idiom has been there for like at least a year or more or whatever longer than Nexus has. So idiom came first, then Nexus came after that. I mean, not Nexus, any life. Annie Life. EDM, then Annie Life. Uh, so Annie Life was kind of copying what EDM did in Japan, I believe. So that is the connection that I had to that stuff. So it says the former members of Bond Life's EN YouTube division have been adopted by Lucid Multimedia. In addition, two more talents who haven't debuted yet. So yeah, let's take a look at this first, and then we'll see how people responded to it in the uh, in Reddit. Announcement, welcoming 10 new talents. To our fans, we're thrilled to announce Lucid is welcoming 10 amazing talents to our roster. These talents were looking for a new home. After spending many hours getting to know each of them, we were truly impressed by the strength of their connections and their determination to stay together as a team. It became clear that bringing them all in was the right choice. And we made it happen with both careful planning and a lot of excitement. This marks a huge step for Lucid's future. We're confident that these talents individuals will bring fresh energy, helping us accelerate our growth, and we can provide the level of support they deserve to help them thrive. We believe this will be a start of something great, both for them and for Lucid. Over the next few weeks, we will be focusing on setting together, setting in together with our new and existing talents before organizing new groups and generations. Then in the meantime, we get ready for two weeks of amazing content and collaborations as we welcome you to Lucid. Reima Sumire, Reya Sumire, Harima Tem, Sera Kasera, Siana Aria, Ivaila Daimoni, Himura Mizuki, Kagami Furi, Yuki Ame, and two surprise talents who have yet to debut. With gratitude, Duran, CEO of Lucid Media. P.S. Auditions are still ongoing, so make sure to submit your audition tape to join in on the fun. So yes, luckily, these people got in. Luckily, these people were able to have some fun. These people were able to... Uh, now have more fun with their community enjoy themselves again with their community this is a big step for lucid in getting these talents because these talents have already had established ips etc also it just is very good news in general it brings a lot of goodwill to lucid it was a good move on the pr front number one number two is a good news good news and good move on just the human side of everything let's see what people have to say they don't have anything to say yet <laughs> this is new enough that they don't have anything to say because it, it as of me recording this it is 13 minutes ago this is a bit of fun sayu news uh in regards to uh everything that's been going on everything that she's been going through everything we all know the history of, of sayu and zion and uh Right now, they had a nice little, you know, moment with their seal, which is their designer inside of Niji Sanji, uh, the person who was in charge of their design. It was one of still my favorite designs. I've improved since then, but it was a lot of fun to make. Uh, it was one of my faves too. You should do a new version, cough. I could probably do a banger version, cough. <laughs> ah, yeah. So their sources here, of course, T Company uh, is their their uh, their you know, VTuber thing here, and it's like uh, it's very eye popping. Oh my god, this is so cool! You know, it's very nice to see them go together. If you know, then you know, uh, because of course, uh, Sayu and her designer slash rigger slash everything, her artist were very close. Zion was very close to their designer, the person who created them, their mama. Uh, they did it all the time. They were just made sure that they had that closeness because it helps when you're close to your mama or papa or whoever designs you to have that connection and have that idea of what they wanted to do and maybe, you know, get an idea of what you want to do in the future, that type of thing. Be awesome for Sayu to pull a doki, so to speak. But to be fair, she doesn't really need it as much. Her current model that she got after Niji is already really good. 
Then unless I'm dumb and the artist who made the Sayu Synchronicity model is the same one as before. Will this be Zionification of Sayu? Holy S, finally, I'm going to tune into her streams. If so, even if I blank Twitch, they don't like Twitch. Sayu trying to pull a Doki? Well, why not? Take back what she deserves. Exactly. Take back what she deserves. But um, Sayu's new model, like Sayu's current model, is extremely well well rigged and extremely well done. So, I mean, as long as they keep the friendship, I don't think uh, Zion's creator, Zion's designer, will have any issue if they don't come together and they don't do something, like they don't collab in some way. Anja Life, A-N-N-J System, is a VTuber who is not small by any, by any means. 168k followers on uh, Twitter is insane. Um, they have finally gotten something cool they've well i mean they've been doing a lot of cool things but one of the very cool things that popped up here for her and for them is this they're coming back for my cosplay retirement for this one weekend only come meet me incredibly honored to be their very first vtuber guest what is what is she doing she's going to be going to sonic expo right here uh content creator and cosplay judge announcement we are pleased to announce our first ever vtuber guest Angela life is planning to attend sonic expo please give her a warm welcome Angela Life will be appearing in person and cosplay and virtual as a virtual YouTuber, of course. And with that, we also have here, get your stuff before it runs out. Here's the Sonic Expo. It's going to be Mesquite, Texas in the U.S. November 8th. Uh, the, the location is Texas, United States, Ro Rodeo Drive or Rodeo Drive, uh, Rodeo more Texas style. Mesquite, Texas, United States. That's where it's going to be. Tickets for admission are 25 to 150 bucks, 150 bucks for the VIP three day badge. It's basically gets you a little bit of extra stuff there. Processing fee is 10 bucks. Tax is also basically 20, 22 to 25 bucks is just in processing and taxes. But if you are big on Sonic, go and go to that expo and enjoy yourself because they're going to be doing a cosplay system with Anja Life, as you mentioned here. Have, go and have fun with another VTuber out there. Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to showcase up and coming VTubers, VTubers of all sizes anyone who wants to be showcased on my channel we're going to take a look right now shizuru majima who is a vtuber here who let's take a look at their about section it says a variety vtuber who loves video games and yakuza goto majima addict right down here let's take a look at their about me first off i'd like to say welcome to my twitch thank you for taking your time to come see me i'm a nerd first of of when it comes first off when it comes to video games and anime love chinese food is my favorite and if i could i would eat it all the time love making people smile Though, which is one of my favorite goals here. It's a fellow insomniac VTuber who has an ability to change forms when able to in any fictional world like video games, anime, etc. Love Persona, Yakuza, Final Fantasy games. Love talking about food, even though it's torture sometimes because I get instant cravings. I love sharing my excitement for certain games and anime and also obsessed with Goro Majima. And let's take a look at her and what she's recently done. Let's take a look at one of her, uh, one of her clips. <laughs> Oh, can I spam myself? Yeah. Wait, what is that called? Plot twist. Wait, what? Oh my god. Okay, there you go. <laughs> As you got to see there, she's, she's, she's there to make you smile, of course. And here you see Shizuru, her actual uh, YouTube channel, which of course I always like to show just in case anyone wants to go and take a look at it. I want to show the full breadth of everything they have if I can. And thank you once again, Shizuru, for letting me showcase you on my channel and on my videos. I hope that this helps you grow or at the very least gets more eyes on your channel. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.